Okay, so this is the second video for inequalities where we are going to learn about quadratic inequalities. Okay, so let us go straight away to the example. Okay, so in example 1, solve x multiply with x plus 3 greater than or equal to 18. Okay, so the first step is let us rearrange so that the right hand side is equal to 0. Okay, so let us expand the left hand side and then let us bring 18 to the left hand side. So this is x square plus with 3x minus with 18 greater than or equal to 0. So I already rearranged them and my right hand side is already equal to 0. Okay, so now the second step we have to make sure the coefficient of x square is positive. So this is x square. So the number in front of the x square is positive 1. So the coefficient is already positive. So the third step, I have to factorize completely. So let us factorize this completely. So we have x, x, 6 and 3. So this is 3x, 6x, positive, negative. So we have x plus 6, x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 so I already factorized completely ok so the fourth step I have to sketch the graph so let us calculate the critical value first so for the critical value x plus 6 is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 6 another one is x minus 3 equal to 0 x is equal to 3 so let us sketch this is quadratic so it is a smile graph so the critical value is negative 6 and 3. So since we do have some equal sign here, this one should be a dense circle at negative 6 and a dense circle at 3 as well. Okay, so now I already sketched the graph and now we have to find the solution. So I want something that is greater than 0, so that means I want to have a positive region. Okay, so to have a positive region, so look at your graph. This is the graph. So find out where does the graph above the axis is. So it's supposed to be here. This is above the axis. Is. This is also above the axis. Is. So that means our solution, if we refer to the solution set, this is x such that x will be less than or equal to negative 6. Or another one is x greater than or equal to 3. So since we have two different intervals, we have to use the word or. So in solution interval, this one will be negative infinity up until negative 6. Union with 3 up until infinity. Okay, so that is the first question. So let us proceed with the second one. Okay, so the second one, we have to solve 9x squared plus 28x minus 30 less than or equal to 2 times with 1 minus 3x squared. So firstly, let, uh, let us expand the right hand side and then we have to make sure that the right hand side is equal to 0. So after I expand, I have to bring it to the left hand side. Okay, so this is 9x squared plus with 28x. Minus with 30 less than or equal to 2 times 1, 2 minus 2 times 3, 6x squared. And then bring everything to the left hand side. So 9x squared plus 6x squared plus 28x minus 30 minus 2 less than or equal to 0. So simplify this. This is 15x squared plus with 28x. Minus with 32 less than or equal to 0. So I already done the first step. My right hand side is equal to 0. Second step, the coefficient of x squared need to be positive. So my coefficient of x squared is 15. So that means the coefficient is already positive. Factorize completely. Okay, so now we got to factorize completely. So 5x, 3x, 32 is 8 times 4. So 8. So this is 40x This is 12x So to get 28 This one is a plus That is a minus So we have 5x minus 4 3x plus 8 Less than or equal to 0 So I already factorized completely Okay so now to sketch the graph Okay so basically the graph for a quadratic So this is how the graph looks like 
Okay, so now I need to know what are the critical value. Okay, so to find the critical value, take each factor, let them equal to 0. So 5x minus 4 equal to 0. x is equal to 4 over 5. And then 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So the left hand side is negative 8 over 3. The right hand side is 4 over 5. Since we do have the equal sign, that means both of them need to be a dense circle. Okay, so I already sketched the graph. Now we need to find the solution. Okay, so we want to find a region that is less than 0. So that means I'm looking for what is the value of x so that it will be negative. Okay, so now referring to the graph. So this is the x-axis. We have to find something that is below the x-axis. So this is the region below the x-axis. So that means that is our solution. So in solution interval... So this one will be negative 8 over 3 until 4 over 5. So close because we do need to include both of them in solution set. So x such that negative 8 over 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 over 5. Okay, so done with the fifth step. So let us proceed with example 3. Okay, so in example 3, we have negative 3 less than x squared plus x minus 15 less than or equal to 15. Okay, so basically we have two different inequalities here. So that means I should separate this into two. So this is the first inequalities and that is the second inequalities. Okay, so this one is actually in between two numbers. So that means when I separate the inequalities, I should use the word n. So the first one is negative 3 less than x square plus x minus 15. And at the same time, x square plus x minus 15 should be less than or equal to 15. Okay, so let us solve this one. So the same step, the similar step. The first one is the right hand side should be equal to 0. So bring everything to the left hand side. So we got negative x squared, negative x, negative 3, positive 15. So this is positive 12, less than 0. Okay, so done with the first step. Right hand side is already equal to 0. Second step, I have to make sure the coefficient of x squared is positive. So now the coefficient is negative, so we have to time each term with negative. So this is x square plus with x minus with 12. So I times with negative, I should flip this sign. So this is greater than 0. So after we make sure the coefficient of x square is positive, then we can easily factorize them. So this is actually x plus 4, x minus 3, greater than 0. So once we factorize, we can easily sketch the graph. Okay, so one left, one right hand side. So now we need to know what are the critical value. So x plus 4 equal to 0, x equal to negative 4. Another one is x minus 3 equal to 0, x must be equal to 3. So this is negative 4, this is 3. It shouldn't be a dense circle because we don't have any equal sign here. Okay, so greater than 0. So that means if this is the axis, the answer should be above the axis. So above, above. So let me give the solution in solution interval for this. So this is negative infinity up until negative 4. Union with 3 up until infinity. So this is the answer for the left hand side. Okay, so now let us do the same thing for the right hand side. So make sure the right hand side is 0 first. So this is x squared plus x minus 15 minus 15. So this is minus 30 less than or equal to 0. Okay, so next make sure the coefficient of x squared is positive. So this is already positive 1. Third step, factorize completely. So this is x plus 6, x minus 5. Less than or equal to 0. Okay, so once we factorize, then we can easily sketch the graph. 
Okay. So I do have the equal sign. So this two should be a dense circle. So to find the critical value, x plus 6 equal to 0, x equal to negative 6, x minus 5 equal to 0, x will be equal to 5. So negative 6, 5. Okay, so less than 0. So somewhere below the axis. So this is below the axis. So the answer for this one is negative 6 up until 5. Okay, so before this, we do need to find the x somewhere in between two numbers. And then when we separate the interval, we say that we have to use the word n. So n represent the intersection. So that means once I know the answer on the left-hand side and the answer on the right-hand side, I should combine them using one number line. And I need to find what is the intersection between this answer and this answer. Okay, so let us do one number line combining them. Okay, so negative 6, negative 4, 3, 5. Okay, so this is negative 4 and 3. Okay, so this is actually answer on the left hand side. Answer on the right hand side. Negative 6 up until 5. But both of them should be a dense circle. Okay, so now we have to find the intersection between them okay so the intersection between this answer and this answer is this one as well as this one so that means your final answer for your solution interval okay so the first one is negative 6 up until negative 4 so at negative 6 it should be a closed bracket this one should be a normal bracket Union with 3 up until 5 a square. Okay, so this is solution interval. And then for the solution set. So x such that. So negative 6 less than x less than negative 4. Or 3 less than x less than or equal to 5. Okay, so those are the answer for question number 3. Okay, so done with quality inequalities. I'll see you guys in the next video.